This is Grade 5, Module 2, Lesson 4, and the objective in this lesson is to convert numerical expressions into unit form as a mental strategy for multi-digit multiplication. So we're really trying to focus on the mental aspect of things here. We want the students to be able to do these um, multiplication problems in their head. So we're going to start off with the homework problem number two. And I have A and B here, and I'm going to go ahead and just do both of those for you. So in A, I have 19 times 50. So this also can be written as 1950s. And they have a tape diagram here, and they don't write out um, 19 groups of 50. They have the dot, dot, dot here in the middle just to show that it does continue. So we have, um, in fact, drawn 20. They, the, the diagram here is showing 20 groups of 50, so it would be 20 times 50. So their thinking process is 20 times 50, and then 19 times 50 would be taking one of those away. So they could uh, easily do 20 times 50 mentally or in their head, so that would be 1,000. And then they're going to take away one group of 50, which is 50. And 1,000 minus 50 is a pretty simple mental math problem. And they'll get their answer of 950. So B is, uh, look, we're looking at B, and it's 11 times 26. So it's blank 26s, and that is pretty simple. We're going to put 11 right there. We're going to draw out the tape diagram again. So here's the start of my tape diagram, and I have one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. I was able to fit them all in here, so I just decided to write out all eleven. So what I'm thinking now is I have ten twenty-sixes and one twenty-six, so I'm just going to chunk these together. So I have ten twenty-sixes and one twenty-six. So 10 times 26, right here, plus 1 times 26. This, again, should be a simple mental math problem. So this is 260 plus 26. And again, the students should be able to do this mentally or in their head. But if not, if they needed to do 260 plus 26 on the side, that's OK, too. And it's 286. So the next problem I'm going to show you is problem number six from the homework, and it says, Joy is helping her father to build a rectangular deck that measures 14 feet by 19 feet. Find the area of the deck using a mental strategy and explain your thinking. Okay. So I'm, uh, I'm going to just draw out um, this, just a picture of the deck, and I know that it's 14 by 19. And to find the area, I need to multiply 14 feet times 19 feet, okay? And it's going to be the same as 19 14s, okay? So this is really similar to the problems that we've already seen. So I'm going to write my target sentence on the bottom here. Okay, my target sentence, the area of the deck is blank. Um, and I actually am going to write the unit because I know that it's going to be in feet. So they could use a couple different strategies that they've used in the previous lessons. They can go ahead and estimate what the answer is going to be by rounding um, 14 and 19 to make it 10 times 20. And they should be able to see it's, that it may be around 200 feet squared. Um, but in this lesson, they're really just trying to use a mental strategy. So it's fine if they do their estimate. That's great that they're building on from previous lessons. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to solve uh, 14 feet times 19 feet using the mental strategy. So we uh, have already established 14 feet times 19 feet as 19 fourteens. So I can draw out my tape diagram for that. Okay, and I drew out the tape diagram, and I, I just noticed one thing here. Um, I have 14 feet times 19 feet is equal to 19 14s, and that is true. But just to make this a little simpler, I'm actually just going to switch these two numbers around. So I'm going to have 19 times 14, and it's, it is the same, and we'll get us the same answer. So 
I have 19 14s, and so in my tape diagram, I have 20 of my blocks, and in each one is um, a 14. So my second part is that I have 20 times 14, because that's how many I did, but I only need 19, so I am going to take this one away, and I can show that by taking away 1 times 14. Okay, then I can do the multiplication in my head. 20 times 14 is 280 minus 14. And this should be a pretty simple mental math problem again. So my answer would be 266 square feet. So I can put my answer right here, 266 square feet. So hopefully um, the students will be able to make this relationship between the tape diagram and the numbers. And uh, 19 times 14 is a difficult problem to do mentally, but when they do 20 times 14 and then subtract 14, it becomes simpler for them.